Hi guys, it's Isolar Free here, back with another crazy sim. Well, we're creating this time a family. I know it's been a while since I posted, and um, yeah, I just thought, just to ease my stress, because I am going through my finals pretty much in the next couple of weeks, I just thought, you know what, I might just make a family. Well, first I actually made a runway team, but then I thought, no wait, this is probably better as a family, because I reinstalled some height slayer mods that maybe you guys have not seen in a while for me, because I do think, like, if there were in the next Sims 5 game, like height sliders, we could pretty much like make more unique looking Sims than what we can now. The fact that we know it is possible that a modder has figured out how to add height sliders, it kind of surprised me that it's not been implemented yet. So um, this is my first team, Autumn O'Reilly, O'Neill, sorry, and pretty much she is a, she likes to be outside, she likes to be a green thumb. And I pretty much thought, okay, you know what? Let me just kind of like do a little bit of a nice looking sim teen girl. It's a little more unique. And so, as you guys can see, um, I pretty much like made her brunette and kind of gave her this more layback style because, um, well, she and her family do run a farm in Henfram, Bagley, mostly a chicken farm. Uh, they don't have any goats or any, sorry, any llamas or cows because. Well, when I built their house, I'm like, nah, I'm not dealing with a cow, because chickens, they make a lot more money than the freaking cow and llama do. So we're going to leave it at that. I pretty much like, made her color scheme black um, and like kind of like, you know, very basic, very laid back with a bit of like, well, I'm going to say like e-girl influence, but she's not really an e-girl. She's like more of a calmer type of person. And now we're going to go on to, of course, her dad. So now we have Dylan O'Neill, which is the father, and I have made him literally a giant. Because I like tall sim males if, um, you know, just to have... Because they're like very, very tall, and then his wife, which you'll see roughly in a moment, uh, I kind of like wanted, like, you know, there'd be like a height difference, so like each of their children could be like, you know, different heights. So like, you know, Autumn, she's like taller than her mom, not as tall as her dad, but more on the taller side of her family. The dad's like really, really tall, like if I had to guess six, over six foot, like maybe six foot three. And probably like, you know, um, Autumn will be like five foot ten, five foot eleven. Her mom would probably more around the five foot three range. And her, when you see the rest of the family, kind of, you see, yeah, I kind of thought, oh, it's like kind of make it a bit different, like heights and stuff, and like give them kind of each laid back styles. And I kind of thought, well, you know, it would probably be for the best if, you know, this family is a little bit more unique in the sim world versus the rest of the, you know. As you guys can see, I'm right now working on the mom, and I pretty much, like, wanted to, like, give her, like, a bit more of a unique body. And, you know, if you have, like, a preset and then plus a height slider, you can kind of, like, uh, play around a little bit, like, with body types and heights. So, again, I kind of mentioned earlier that I kind of managed to be, like, you know, five foot three five foot four like not really five foot five because i do think like um the sims team they kind of like try and make like i'm gonna assume all of the um sims the same height so it's a lot more easy for animations which i understand but again if paralyzed can kind of do it and figure out how to go around it then i believe the sims team which has a higher budget i'm gonna assume but again ea kind of may like you know be strict is probably very very strict in them and again, I kind of gave this whole family more of a laid-back vibe, except for when we get to um, Autumn's twin sister, who's um, more of an it girl, more of a popular pink princess girl. And I kind of like, thought for the backstory of the O'Neill family, like you know, the dad's Irish and the mom's probably Italian, just originally or Italian American. And they kind of moved to Hanford and Bagley when they're in their twenties, and you know, now that they've been like, in their career, kind of been more on a farm. And producing produce for the town they're more of like okay laid back and wanting to give back to the community and make sure children kind of grow up a little more in a calmer area than both their backgrounds because they both kind of had very very hectic backgrounds compared to the rest of um my sims that i kind of want to do like it's kind of like laid like the their backstory is like kind of more in the back and you will kind of see it a little bit more and of course again i try to like make sure like they have you know, roughly how the hair would look more or less on each sim. And I kind of like to go back and forth about it, what I want her to look like. 
I also went back and forth, like, you know, with skin details a bit as well. And we're getting kind of more closer to um, their next child, which you will all see. She is pretty much um, their child, we can say. With a little bit of tweaking, and I pretty much I try to make sure like everything looks semi decent on each of my Sims because I kind of do want to make my Sims look more unique, look more like they fit into the world. I kind of thought, okay, Hanford Bag is based on like the UK, and well, it's gonna be probably rain a little bit, maybe like getting like more heavy suited, a little more like you know, drowsy. I did try to make sure I add like all like you know, the skin details I should add on you know, a woman who's had three children. You know, two twins and kind of went with more of a nicer looking well sim and now we're gonna make their daughter which you'll see right about now ish there is a thing that i don't know why it keeps getting my sims like um dark skin when neither of the parents have like dark skin i'm not saying it's wrong it's just like more it doesn't like really match the parents if i have a child that's like full on like dark skin and the parent and one parent's like more tan and dad and one parent's like kind of pasty white as you see, like, yeah, I kind of am adjusting a little bit more with the body types and making sure they kind of fit a bit more. So I make sure like each sim is kind of more unique um, compared to the rest. And of course, right now we have Mariah O'Neill. Mariah O'Neill is like, she is that it girl. She wants to be very popular, or she is very popular. I did kind of like change her trace from like hates kids to a squeamish because like she probably hates the most living on a farm and she'd rather probably be more in a city compared to the rest of her family who are more out doorsy and more loving the outdoors compared to her and like that's why I kind of gave her the motif of, like I want to move out of here I don't really like it and she's kind of more mean towards her sister Autumn but they kind of are still friends she's like more of a well I'm gonna say more of like a bitch with a heart of gold and she does wear a lot of heavy makeup compared to the rest of her family who like kind of go bare minimum on makeup except for like you know for formal maybe party but that's about it really <laughs> Like, uh, this is me kind of remind you guys to make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell if you like my videos to kind of see what's happening in my life and with my channel. But yeah, pretty much back to Mariah. Yeah, I kind of feel like she's probably more friends with Malcolm Landgrab than she is with, you know, the Goths. Because she, I think she would want to be, like, friends with the most influential people um, in each role. But she doesn't, like, really trust anybody, I would say, more or less. And yeah, I kind of like feel like she's gonna try and like be friends with all the rich kids in every single world just to make sure that she can and shows her power compared to like you know her sister like trying for her she's like probably gonna be more like someone in the business career, a like, business mogul, and such. So like, that's where I kind of see her in compared to you know the rest. And I did kind of like, try and make her a little bit more of the well, well-rounded, nice front part of her body because she wants to show for her ass and she can and she's allowed to do that because again like she's a I think a little bit more confident than her sister Autumn because I think she she has no problem like you know kind of like dressing like very skin tight and very more you know more sexual than Autumn because she's like way comfortable in her skin but she absolutely hates doing any work um if I could have like the more traits I would probably put her also as like a slob because she will probably not pick up anything but she hates things that are so dirty and I do kind of like feel like she is pretty much like a daddy's girl than a mommy's girl because the mom she works hard on the farm and so is the dad but I think dad lets her slide off more with them um, than the rest of her then of course with her little brother and her twin sister Autumn like that's how I kind of see their relationship kind of panning out and yeah I kind of wish that um we can kind of see more of the... I do think that I will um, make, maybe like a little let's play with them. So you guys can like see how they interact. And I'll probably like add some skills before I upload them to the gallery. So you guys can like kind of figure out, okay, um, what does she do for a sort of... What do they do? Or do they have any job like the rest of the family? Or are they more like, you know, stay-at-home teens? Because they, of course, help on the farm with, you know, the rest of the family. And we're going to be coming close up to the last sim of the family, which I believe I named Dante or Demetrius. Because I know it starts with a D, but you guys will see it better than me. Sorry, I stand corrected. I named him Keaton. 
Keaton O'Neill. Um, he's like more of the rambunctious like little kid, but um, I kind of like do. I did kind of like fix him. I didn't like change him that much as I did like the way he looks before. I just like made him have like thinner cheeks compared to like the rest. Of it. Yeah, he's like more of this like artsy kind of kid who you know wants to be like more to arts and he likes things to be very very perfect but he's not afraid to get his hands down dirty compared to like his sister mariah and i'm pretty sure he's like done with everything his sister has but he loves autumn he loves his mom he loves working on the farm and i think when he turns his teen i'm gonna give him that lifetime aspiration like you know um the animal enthusiast because i think that would fit him with him more and yeah right now at the end of the video and i wish you have a fun time Bye bye